Hey everyone. Hello, hello. Poggy is here. Hi chat. <clears throat> Keep me company while I pack for this move. We are here for you. Hello, Uncle Buck. Hello, Mike. Lynn. Hi, I'm having a wonderful evening. I'm cold. <clears throat> I'm cold and I'm beat up. I crashed on my daughter's electric scooter a little bit earlier, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Like, I was riding around, and I have no balance. I really have no business riding on that thing. But um, I'm riding around thinking I got the like, hang of it. Oh, gosh, my voice. I have no balance. I really have hey, no business riding. That's what I sound like. Um, so I thought I had the hang of things. I think I, like, zoomed up even more. I don't know what it's called when you accelerate. But I'm going to call it zoomed up. So I zoomed up, and I thought I was being, like, all cool. And then somehow I just started going right. <laughs> Hey, Casey, girl. And I didn't want to ruin the electric scooter. So I made sure I held on to that. But, like, I kind of flew off into somebody's bushes. And I screamed really loud. And somebody's kid ran out. And they're like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. But I full-on landed in somebody's bushes. But managed to hold on to that scooter so tight. Like, it, I made sure that thing did not get scratched or anything. Hey, Avril. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Lori. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. So I figured we can react to foodie reacting, to milk tea reacting. I think that's what it is. <laughs> we're, we're in for a treat. Um. Oh, my gosh. I know my daughter took pictures with my phone. I don't know if she caught me crashing, though. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm like, I probably looked like somewhere drunk lady on a scooter, which I could have been like five years ago. That was me, you know, but like I'm going straight. I, I'm minding my own business. Nothing was in my way. There was nothing that made me go right and fall other than like my own self. I don't know how I managed to do that, but hey, Tater Toddies. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Avril. Okay. So I've seen a lot about it on Twitter because like everybody's been talking about it. Um, and then I saw a post by Karina Kaboom who basically said like Foodie had no valid points. Like it was all just making fun of Milk Tea's, I think, wig or looks, um, which is wild to me because she always like cries at everybody shaming her looks and everything else. Um, hey, calligraphy. I crashed on my daughter's electric scooter. <laughs> Like over nothing, like over nothing. I, I accelerated. I think I put it on turbo mode or something. You know, I get distracted by the lights sometimes. Maybe that happened because I think it's cool how they all change colors at the bottom. Like it's a tricked out scooter. Like it looks cool. But really, I was like, I thought I was being all cool and like zooming around. And all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. Like, I guess I'm just not a well balanced person. Like I'll trip over nothing. Like, <laughs> It's just me. And then suddenly I go right really fast and um, landed in somebody's bushes like a planter in front of their house. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I managed to hold on. I'm like, this thing as I'm falling, like I knew it. I'm like, this thing was expensive. Like I'm not scratching this. So like I held on to that, but like I flew, <laughs> I flew. Um, I put it up, <clears throat> I think yesterday, last night, and I show the picture. Um, I had to draw a heart over like a lot of, I don't know, it was a lot of stuff. It was supposed to just be her butt, but it didn't look like just a butt to me. There was a lot of other stuff in that picture. But um, I I blurred that out, um, but it's up on my channel, Pete's. I tripped over a cat and slammed my, oh my gosh, Christy, are you okay? That sounds painful. I think the scooter goes up to like 15 miles per hour, 12 or 15. Um, so, like, there's, like, when you push the thing all the way up, like, you go faster. And, like, I, I was zooming. I wasn't just, like, going at a nice pace. Um, so my foot hurts, like, really bad. <laughs> but I'm okay. Like, I, if anything, I'm just laughing at myself because I probably looked crazy. Like, I don't know. I looked crazy. I landed in somebody's bushes, like, stone cold sober on a scooter. Yeah, she is a hypocrite, greeny, bluish. He picks. <laughs> She's like the wind by Patrick Swayze. 
<laughs> breezy in the scooter. Yeah, I was, I had this whole thing planned out too when I was zooming around. I was thinking, I'm like, I'm going to do like a hamster's confessional video and like zoom around the neighborhood and like, I don't know, like hamsters are nosy and like I'm pretty nosy anyway. So I can be like, oh, that person didn't pick up their newspaper. I wonder what's going on. Like, I, I, I don't know, in my head, like I was thinking of all these like fun episodes I'm going to do as a hamster on the scooter. <laughs> I'm such a weird individual. Like, why do you guys hang out with me? Hey, Rainbow Road, how are you? Um, let me see. Ultimately, it's a cute and silly memory for you and your daughter to share. Yeah. <laughs> she told me I'm not allowed to play on it anymore. So I don't know. We'll see. Like, we'll see if I'm allowed to. But like, we have so much fun with that thing. Like, it, like I said, it was kind of expensive, but like, it's fun. Like, we do make really good memories and um, we have some funny videos. Love my sense of humor. Thank you, Pix. Sub to the channel. Thank you, Hamsters Confessional. I think I'm going to do that. And like my theme song is going to be, they see me rolling. Like I have a whole thing planned out because I'm weird like that. <laughs> Christy, it hurt like crazy. No big damage, but this guy is avoiding me. I bet. Oh, that has to hurt though. Like especially chipping a tooth. That's not fun. I'm sorry. I am banned. I am banned, but like, maybe that's a safety thing. Like <laughs> I'm going to blame the lights because they are really pretty and distracting. Actually, no, it was flat out my fault. Like I, like I said, I could just be walking and trip over nothing. Like that's just what I do or breathing and choke on air. Like that's just how I roll. Like now I don't think, well, obviously I would pass the sobriety check, but you know how they make you like balance and everything? Like, I would have to warn them if I ever in the future um, get pulled over or something and they do like a sobriety point and they make me like do all the stuff before they actually just breathalyze me and realize like I'm not drinking. Like, I could not stand on a foot or walk backwards or hop with one hand over my head or whatever it is they make you do. Like, they would think something's wrong with me. <laughs> I think about weird stuff like that. I'm like, what if something happened and like they were like, oh, walk while you say the ABCs backwards, which I couldn't do sober anyways. I can't say the ABCs backwards. Like I think about weird stuff like this. <laughs> Did your daughter check on you or the scooter? <laughs> Actually, she checked on me. Um, but like I said, I made it so obvious like during my fault, like I was protecting that scooter at all costs. Like I don't care if I broke my butt, if like a foot fall off, like that scooter was not getting scratched. So... <laughs> I think she knew. She she already knows how I work. Like, the heck with me. Like, protect the scooter. <laughs> Let me see. I think of things like that. Like, because I'm not balanced. Like, I couldn't pass something like that. Like, if I just said, just breathalyze me. Like, I know they wouldn't just do it first. Like, they'd make me hop like a chicken and, like, dance like a goose or do all that stuff. Like, I couldn't do it. Hey, G. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get to this reaction. I'm sorry. I know I could talk forever. I didn't mean to. It's just been a weird day. And then I've been finding so much joy in my little Photoshop marriage thing. Like, I'm going to have to come up with, like, a marriage certificate for me and Dave Matthews. You know, since we got fake married. Did you hear? I decided since I liked his music so much that I was just going to be fake married to him. So... I don't know what he's going to do about his wife. Like, they're going to have to figure that out. But we're officially married. Like, officially fake married. All right, here we go. I say the same things. I couldn't stand on what I couldn't. There's no way. There's no way. Like, somebody would end up videoing me and being like, this person is clearly going to fail the test. And like, no, like, if you just breathalyze me first, I'm good. But like, I couldn't do any of the stuff they make me do. <laughs> I should write a love song. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know that thumbnail. Okay, let me stop yapping. So this is a live stream she did today. Let's do a petty reaction. Do you, Claire? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like we call it our family's band because like it started with my sister, I think, in high school. And then... It went to me because she started dragging me along to concerts. And at first, like, to be honest, I was just kind of like, okay, these songs are really long. Like, I do not have the attention span. Like, that's just how it worked. <laughs> but um, I started, she started dragging me, like, all around California, Northern California, Southern California, all over to, like, go to these concerts. And I just fell in love. Like, 
I just fell in love. Um, and then it went to my parents and now my parents travel all over, like all over the States. They go to Seattle, they go to Vegas, they go everywhere to go see Dave Matthews. Like wherever he's playing, they will fly to and go see. So like, and like the kids in my family love Dave Matthews. Like, so it's just like, we call it our family's band. Um, the scooter crash, I know. <laughs> no, get out of that fake marriage. Oh, you're fake married to foodie? Aaron, what are you thinking? You could have fake married anyone, like anyone. Like foodie? Oh, no, I'm worried for you. Oh, you're married to Metallica. <laughs> oh, you like country music? That's cool. Um, Your parents accept their new son-in-law. I know, automatically, like, oh, my gosh, show truth be told, though. My mom came over and I was like, mom, look, cause like, well, I mean, she probably could have checked my channel. She watches my channel, but I wanted to show her. I was like, look, I was like, look who I married. And I showed her the Photoshop picture and she was like, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> like, are you okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll stop talking. Here we go. Foodie's petty reaction. I get TikTok songs in my head all the time when I just Google. Or Same. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. Hey, Brooklyn. I have a reaction to you. Kelly. Oh my god, you're getting so much corn. Oh, fine. It's like corn and like pellets, and that's it. Calling all birds, calling all birds. What? Hi, Lynn. Girl Step A plus. Mary Poppins. Messy Jesse. Gemini Gem. I might get red lipstick on my teeth. Because. This lip gloss is a Estee Lauder one. Remember the red one? Hello. I love Estee Lauder. Van Spiezer, Trixie. I know, Pigs. Flop era. Where should we go for our honeymoon? Oh, are Nicki Minaj stands. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wait. Cuba? Cuba Breeze? Well, I have my foundation on today. I've got to say, it does... I actually placed a, an order for Lush. No, Uncle Buck, it's not good. To get home because I realized... By the time it gets to my house, it, take, it takes like a little while to get there. And I don't feel like going to a mall and I need my stuff. So I ordered a whole bunch of things from Lush. So stay tuned for a Lush haul. Because my skin is going to be major updating. And I also need Whose to get voice is this? collagen. Basic, basic. Hi, Golden Girl. Hold on, guys. Why is it doing this? Okay. Um, Shani got permanently banned. Why? What did she do? Did she do anything to get banned? Yeah, yeah we're dragging milk tea today. She. This person has been <clears> reacting <throat> to me for like. Oh, here we go. I need to hide my chin here. Um, I, need to hide I my know. Face, my neck. So I don't have a neck, so it's my chin. Sorry. We know. Um. Yes, <laughs> pigs. Probably has been busy by now, unfortunately. Yeah, he's in the other room. Barbecue knob. All right. Um, okay, so I've been asked, this is like a, Hallie, this is a series I'm going to call I Hate the Internet. I hate, okay, this is the thing. I don't mind if, if you, you have, have something, something relevant to react to, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. So we're going to, people want me to react to these videos, and honestly, um, I looked up through a little bit of it, mm -hmm. and, uh. I just I, I just want to go through it and be like, what, hold on. Like, apparently, like people were commenting on my videos. Basically. Are we watching Foodie or Amberlynn? Like I just had deja vu. So people have been asking me to do this, and it's like literally maybe like two people, like maybe Flop Era and probably Missy Manson. Like who else has asked you to specifically sit down and react to milk tea? Like who else? Like I'm not buying it. And you sound like Amberlynn. <laughs> And whose voice are you using? I don't know, Avril. Um, 
I think she keeps pulling it forward to cover up her chins. Probably she has them like tucked in tight. Like I'm surprised she could talk it on. Maybe that's why she's talking like that. Her chins are tucked in way too tight. Basically saying, free the chins. Say, saying that I should watch Milk Tea's reaction. <laughs> Sorry, there's going to be a lot of eye rolling because that's how I feel when I watch these videos. They're so petty. Like, who cares about half of the things that they're reacting to? They pause every second to say something that they think is a fact. So I, I just want to see all the receipts that this person has and definite proof because they say a lot. I know. I know you're not married. I know it's not legal. So let's see what they know, okay? I just want to see what they know. Oh, Ariel, I'll come back to very more recent recipes. I think I keep blocking Ariel. <laughs> it has black lung by now. Is milk tea that old woman who looks like a talking skeleton? Fix, no. do you want to come up? Oh, Hi, Melissa. <laughs> so I need to check out, hold on. Tell me what other channels to check out. I know I, I need to clearly check out Milk Tea. Um, one of you guys keep telling me about a channel called Everyday Treasures. So right now, let's show some reaction channel love and put in the comment section, like all the reaction channels that you are watching and you think other people should check out. Um, agreed, Picks. Agreed. Stank. Pamela. Okay, let me have some water. I already have a migraine. Oh my God. All right, I'm doing this because I need to see what the big hype is. This person got 15K views. Am I jealous? No. Am I annoyed? No. Why do I mention that? Because this must be a video. Because if you look at all the other views, there must be something important in this video. Something that makes people interested. So I want to see what it is. Well, we're going to see Sala because apparently they do know something, right? So we're going to see what react, what receipts they have, what knowledge they have. Uh, you know, let's see. Hi, Elizabeth Nirvana. You're ready for Canada bees? Look, I have proved people wrong time and time again. Um, the meth pipe, uh, not coming to Kuwait going to Cuba, many, many things. So wait. I cannot wait either wait, 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 wait. to get home. And show I'm confused. What did she prove us wrong about the pipe? Oh, Mr. Snowflake. Um, I saw somebody say Sinatra says. Oh, Pix is going to come up. Um, Miss, Okay, so Mr. Snowflake. I'll have to check Mr. Snowflake up. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Sorry, one wait. second. I'm putting... Uh, and on mute on my other one so I can actually watch on my phone. I was going to say, are you taking a bath? I heard like bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, uh, it was an ad for um, Last Fortress Underground. Oh, I don't know yeah. what that is, but it sounded cool. Yeah, it sounds cool. but And I promise everybody, I'm not going to dominate. I promise. It's okay. Just tell me if you want me to pause um, because it takes me like a second. For some reason, I, I'm not very quick with it. The oh, only uh, thing I want to start with is the fact that She's starting with that extra, extra level of BMI mm -hmm. that she thinks is going to be a bomb for everything, like B-A-L-M, not B-O-M-B. -B, okay. That she thinks is going to be enough that she can get out some, say, like scathing comments. I only saw a bit of this, and then I was like, no, I'm waiting for you to react. Right. Like, it's, she's disgusting. Okay. So. I so do you already seen that? You have already seen this, right? I've only seen about five minutes of it. That's so oh, okay. Bad. Yeah. So all of this is fresh to me, but I just wanted you to know that I like I am seeing this, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. No, okay. so I want to say if you already saw it, like let me know if there's any like warnings we need or anything. Um Zachary Michael, Alex is shook, pulpy. Definitely. Can I put the channels in the chat? Um, I'll try to link them. I, I'll try. No one okay. wants to treat I'm going to mute myself. Okay. Hello, <laughs> oh, everybody. That was still going to be a hijabi. You know? If you're going to Cuba, don't drink the rum. And be in a toxic or crappy. Oh, howdy. Hold on, I'm going to let him out. Come here, howdy. Come on, howdy. I want to see you. 
Should I speed it up, like make it a little faster? Hold on. Yeah, maybe 1.25. Okay. One time I put somebody on really fast. We couldn't understand what they were saying. Who was it? Little Mama, I think. I wasn't going to hug him. Okay. So let's watch this video here. Okay. There's a couple I want to react to. So let's start with this one. Okay, this is um, Milk Tay. Now, I will say, I don't really care, like, if this person reacts to me, okay? They don't steal, they don't, like, okay. They do steal my content the whole Hold thing. On. They do react to it, and they don't. Sarah, um, they weren't on the bus, and I don't think the driver was even, like, touring with them at the moment or they they weren't even on tour with the bus driver so like it that sucks that that happened but like they're not tied to that in any way um it's actually awful that 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 driver did that and it angers me but um dave matthews has already spoke on that so sorry had to clear that little rumor up it has nothing to do with this but i'm like i have to defend my fake husband you know have to defend him um okay sorry off we go stream snipe so and they're not hateful you know like they're snide and they're full of crap but they're not hateful and they don't name call so whatever let's just let's just get into it hi sweet vintage zo the realities of modern life i'll watch the, the ads no i don't have the patience right. oh, nice intro what are you going for elevator music your music sucks on your videos i don't know why you're talking Already 9.30 on a school was night, even... and I decided to react to this instead of recapping it, which was probably stupid, but let's just do it, eh? I'll try and do it faster than I need to. Who wig is this a wig? Just to preface all of this, this entire video is about how lies that later she cops to a little bit. So spoiler alert. But I'll point out where the lies are as we go. Um, oh, she's gonna point out where the lies are. This is what I'm looking for, okay? That I'm a liar, okay? So but you see. are. Chandra, I am. Um, I'll stick up for my fake husband. Husband, he's my soulmate. We have hamsters together, after all. Missy Moo. Sarah Jane is bothering us. Stop it, Missy. Well, technically, according to her, already I don't like reacting from the side. My side profile is hideous. Every profile is hideous. Milk Kaiju tea, what? I'm also going to put in a picture of the live she did after this. Like a made up, identical. Like yes, it was the same day. I said that. <laughs> Change the angle. I can't. Wait, hold on. Um, this is, is she making fun of her for wearing a wig? And I just saw um, Deborah said that she wears a wig because she has medical issues. Yeah, I think she's got alopecia. Booty. She doesn't like. <sighs> yep, I'm going to put myself back on mute and start swearing in Plutonian again. Oh my gosh. Like every time I think she can't sink any lower, like she surprises me. Like that's wrong. Everybody's saying yes, that's so wrong. Foodie, what are you doing? You're ripping on my music? Yeah, it sucks. How do you guys watch this? You're ripping on my nail polish now? What about you and your moon space galaxy looking eyeshadow? Moon space galaxy eyeshadow. <laughs> What even? She's a terrible reactor. I must say. Can you guys hear her? I'm not the best, but she's or, oh my gosh. You're okay, but you're making fun of the but you know he's not English. Hi Tracy. But so you're making, you're making a comment that that's so petty. Exactly. Uh, you know, I'll give them that. He said we are waiting, not waiting. A little bit later. I didn't describe the process you know nothing about. Which makes me think they probably went to court today, but I don't know if school in terms of this being done legally at all, and we will talk about it. Okay, number one, I want to know, is this person from Kuwait? Does this person work in the court? And how do they know this information? Wait, okay, those of you who watch Milk Tea, I know she has some type of knowledge because, how? 
Does anybody know? Picks? I know that she was in the Middle East. Okay. I don't usually watch her stuff. So, like I said, I've only seen, like, a little bit through FFG. I was like, I have no idea what's going on, and I leave. So... Oh, she lives in the Middle East, Pix. Yeah, and she... I don't know if she still does or she did, but there was a lot of different things that she actually knows a lot about. Uh -huh. And one of those things is like the way that Islamic situations for marriage and the Muslim um, faith and how the steps are for okay. like the, the marriage steps yeah. are not the same uh -huh. as like their engagement is basically like the courtship phase. Yeah. And they get engaged very quickly and then they make their, their wedding vow in the, the, the mosque. Mm -hmm. And then they actually go through to do the legal, like the man law yeah. kind of legal side of it later on. But it's the equivalent of people um, dating and then getting engaged and then getting married is so much different. There's so much of a difference between the quote unquote Western society versus the Eastern cultures. Right. And it's not just with Muslims. There are plenty of different religions that have these kinds of sanctimony that is going, like you have to have this kind of um, religious ceremony and then your family welcomes each other into your lives. And then there's like dowries and, um, different things going on. I mean, it really hasn't changed in a lot of countries yeah. for hundreds or thousands of years. So mm -hmm. Chantel coming in and automatically assuming that because she went to Kuwait, she has the right to say that she knows based off of somebody who actually has been there, went through the process and they're not the only person that's said anything. Right. Um, for the, the people who don't know in FFG's chat, there's a lady named, um, it's me, Julian, I think. And anyways, this person was born in Kuwait. Yeah. And can speak to that. And Chantel just completely ignores that that person exists in Frenchie's chat. Like, yeah. Okay. Wow. Sorry. No, yeah. it's okay. Um, let's see. So from what everybody's saying, she was a teacher in the Middle East. Like yeah. being, I love Dave Matthews too. Um, the only thing Fupa Duty learned about the Middle East is the fast food menus. I mean, she really, she knows all about Burger King. Um, Stacy said Milk Tea has lived slash worked in Middle East for the last 15 years. Okay, good to know. Thank you, you guys. Yes, thank you. Oh, hold on. I thought I hit play. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Bear with me. Oh, there we go. Finally. If they did what they claim to do, they would have needed two witnesses. And she does confirm later that they had two witnesses, which is connected to something I want to say later, actually. But we're obviously just getting whoever's behind the camera. It's hardly proof positive. Oh, congratulations while standing there. Is it Morad? I don't know any of the other friends. They're obviously on the outs with Allah. So I'm guessing Morad, who according to... Because he d couldn't possibly have any other friends just because we haven't introduced them or brought them online. Here's an, here's an idea, Milk Tea. Maybe we don't show everybody we have in our life online. Did that ever come into your mind or what? I, I know people, this is the same argument that oh, she would show us everything. She tells us everything. No, I used to tell you everything. I have a husband now. I have to respect privacy in a lot of ways. All right. Do I still have a big mouth? Yes, well, but, but not as big. Didn't, but kind of did, but it's impossible for him to do it, but I'm going to take Kind of a thing. So I guess he's got no choice but to commit to it because if he gets caught, the circumstances are going, sorry, circumstances, the consequences are going to be a lot more serious than him than it's going to be. I already right. lost track of what's going on. So is the marriage contract the certificate that you get, you know, that's usually nice, kind of lots of paper, nice, nice official stamp thing that you have on it? Very pretty people tend to value them. Yeah, quite paper. Is that yeah, people tend to value them. So not show people with space moon eyeshadow and online, just random strangers on the internet. internet. Why does she and keep going way, for her eyeshadow? Go and they just make you a certificate right away. Like you need to wait to get that 
Oh my god. I'm guessing that she's trying to pick away at anything physical. <sighs> That's so good. Stop reaching. Can't see either of them carrying anything else. It's not exactly pretty to get Maybe someone else was carrying it? Maybe. <laughs> this is proof or what? You love yourself so much. You can just want to see. You you're like it reacting in front of fifteen you're reacting in front of ten thousand people. There's fifteen thousand like uh, views on this video and you couldn't put on a better wig. It's actually believe from Zara. Okay. And furthermore And furthermore <laughs> she's probably info online. She must wake up and stop the leads. <laughs> That's all they do is leash. This is why I hate the internet. Why are you on it? Maybe he doesn't want to wear a suit, but like, who cares? He wants for jeans. Why can't you get married in jeans? Because foodie them? I'm sorry. Your man wore a suit to go see Megan. He, he <laughs> to go to a movie theater. It's a little weird to not. I mean, everybody dress how they want on their wedding day, I guess. But he wore a suit to the movie theater. We would think he would wear something nice to marry you. I don't know why, but at least in my head, um, she's not raging. It's okay, Sarah. I didn't get it. Oh, let's see. Milk tea is too put together. Milk tea is adorable. I've never watched her before, but she's adorable. Milk yeah. tea is very calm. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, like it, I, I will add that I think that um, Chantel's only way of reacting to somebody is always to go to the, well, one person told me that I look ugly in this, so I, I'm going to tell everybody that they're ugly in that. Yeah, like she was for so long. She was called out on the fact that she would wear that glitter when she was going to see Koki, mm -hmm. and at the same time, she wouldn't on other like it was. It became very, very clear what her intentions were for the day or the night or whatever when she was gonna. I the only thing that comes to my mind is Charmouth around the way mm -hmm. that Frenchie says it, but like the we got used to seeing that glitter yeah. and that's what she was called out on a lot was it wasn't the glitter that she was getting called out on it was what was meaning behind the glitter right like yeah you were no one puts on makeup to go to bed they got no glitter yes christy <laughs> thank you yes yes that's exactly it so she's trying to attack somebody based mm -hmm. off of such finite possible ugh, it's so frustrating yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so got no glitter. I remember that. Oh my gosh. Oh crud. I started it over. Sorry, hold on. There we go. I think we're back at the right point. This is boring. You're a boring foodie. It's you. You know, all oh, these people, anything, your business is your business. I dare them to share their daily life and past life. That's what I mean. Like, why do we owe anybody a marriage contract? Like, what is, what our deal is, married, not married, whatever you think, it's not your business. Like, who cares? Why does that deter you from watching me? Why does that make, you know what I mean? Why does that make you, uh... <laughs> yeah, Tracy. Makes me laugh. That's the thing that's sacred to her. Well, look, I'm looking at myself from the viewfinder. I must be in the camera. I must love myself. Was that oh, shade at me? Oh, oh, that. Like, I think that was shade against everybody. Hold on. Let me pause it. Was that shade at so Hold on. Like this way. Okay, and go ahead, Pix. I was going to say it's probably because everybody has pointed out the fact that when they're in the viewfinder, Salad has consummated his own marriage to himself yes <laughs> more times than he's even acknowledged Chantel's in the room it's um, true and that one eyebrow the one yeah. eyebrow goes up. okay so I'm gonna go back really really quick to the 90s because I, I, I realize that we're we're mentally there and in California and Dennis Rodman goes to Las Vegas and married himself try not to get that in your brain the next time you see salad Okay. Looking in the viewfinder because that's all I have seen for weeks. Every single time is that eyebrow goes up, and you are going to be like, "Oh, it is Dennis Rodman all over again." 
Oh my gosh. I went through this phase where I was like obsessed with Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra. Remember when they were together? Yes. Oh my yeah. gosh. I used to watch their reality show and I was just like all about them for some reason. Well, it was such a unique pairing. And then when she got with Dave Navarro, I was just like, that was when I was really into it. Cause that's when he was getting into like the, the tattoos and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Dave and is so beautiful. All the days. Ink Masters. I yes. love Ink Masters. I used to love it. Oh my gosh. So I loved Dave Navarro. And then what was the other judge? There is a judge on there that every time I see him, I just drool. What is, I can't think of his name. Uh, Gregory, I want to, I always want to say, no, it's Oliver Peck. Um, yeah, that's the one with the mustache. No, it's not yeah. the one with the mustache. No, he's, yeah, he's. He, that's no, yours? I, cast like, no, on. no, no. He's like Dave Navarro is not even my type. Oh like, really? Oh no. Um I love I love people musically talented in some way and tattoos. That seems to be which is so weird that I fell for that one person cuz he's so Chris Nunez. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, he he's pretty. Um, I, yes, I'm, I I I should have fake married him. Thank See you. and yeah, they're they're so not even Oh wow. Um I, I will have one little, I, oh, I'm just so bothered by all of this. She what? she really has no idea what she's doing. She thinks that she's being like so wild and wonderful right now. Mm -hmm. Telling people that she's bored. Right. By watching somebody talk about her. Mm -hmm. Not only reaffirms the narcissism, it also like highlights how little she cares about herself, right. but at the same time believes that her shine should be 10 times brighter. Right. Like you're all talking about me. And then when you're not talking about me, why are you not talking about me? Everybody else is boring. Everybody else is, ugh, who is this Dr. D dozen? Like who is <laughs> the voice so well? <laughs> oh, I can go into Beezer mode very easily. <laughs> Nala gives me the look like, why are you doing this? I am not BBJ. I am not <laughs> Sam. Why are you doing this? The plants have threatened to move out. Like, it's it's bad. It's bad. I, I just walk around here and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just quoting Supernatural. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, like I I talk to my screens a lot. Uh -huh. And Nala just literally looked at me and walked the other way and she's like, no, I'm not gonna lay near you right now. You're <laughs> insane. <laughs> you have that bad mommy voice. Yes, I know. Oh, Tater Toddies is here. Hello. Um, okay, let me read the chat. Sorry, you guys. Jamie said she's doing the same thing in Kuwait as she does in Canada. I think she's worse in Kuwait for some reason. She like she's not doing all the drugs, but like she's worse um, um yeah she she's a lot worse because she's had to switch addictions right because her addictions were easy in canada yeah and she could grab a wheelchair and you know f up her friday and right. she can't do that It'll, it is illegal to have alcohol in kuwait yeah so she, she can't even have alcohol she can't have anything. And I want to point out, like, even though I don't do the traditional AA way now and everything like that, but, um, like, when you just quit something and you don't get to the root of the problem, you're miserable. Like, you're miserable. So no wonder why she's raging all the time. She's not treating the problem. She's just, she put a Band-Aid over the wound. So this is just temporary. So that's why, I, you know what, I get really worried for her. I don't like her, but I get worried for her because when she goes back to Canada, I don't, you know, up. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be bad. I, it's I'm gonna not be even really like, bad. There's, there's a really huge issue that I, I mean, I try to play it up as a joke and stuff a lot, but um, the whole diabetes thing. I have type two diabetes, mm -hmm. and after my weight loss surgery two years ago, I have to take it very, very, very easily. And the fact that she has not only, like, it's, I'm going to ignore the fact that she assumes that she's smarter than all of Diabetes Canada. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> aside from that, what she is doing to her body is permanent. Like, 
where I was 10 years ago is where she is right now. Yeah. But the difference was I actually could look in the mirror and say, I am the problem. Mm -hmm. I need to change my life. I need to do these things differently. I need to get out of an abusive situation and I need to move on with my life. I need to move out of this place. I need to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So uprooting myself and living in seven different countries and all over the place trying to figure out where I could go. I can go on for hours about how she's tried to geographically cure around the world. And she mm -hmm. is always, like you say, wherever you are, there you are. Mm -hmm. like, know that you say it in a more poetic wherever way. Wherever you go, there you are. There you go. Yeah. Like I, I just class it as geographically curing. And yeah, you, you can't. You cannot. You can't. I tried that with sober livings. Like I would try sober livings two hours away, one hours away, one in the mountains, one by the beach, one here, one there. And I thought each location, something different. There would be something different for me there. Right. Like I just thought that a new city, a new change, that was what's gonna keep me sober this time. And it was like, no, because I brought my crap to each city. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the, the other point that I wanted to make on there as well is when people are quitting whatever it is, any it, any habit that they want to change, be it smoking or drinking or drugs or, you know, road raging or, mm -hmm. you know, picking their fingernails or whatever it is. If you are going to take time out of your life to stop that habit, when you go back to your regular life. Yeah. That vacation time or that separate thing that you did has no bearing on your daily life. She has removed herself from the drugs. Mm -hmm. The drugs are still here in Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When she comes back, the drugs are still here. She just tried to run away from it. And she's going to come back to it and be like, oh, this is an easy crutch. Well, I miss my husband, so I'm going to go there. And yes, I actually said that when rolled my own eyes I <laughs> felt that at the same time um that was the feeling you had it wasn't an earthquake it was just me rolling my eyes um mm -hmm. <laughs> but the the idea that the times that it actually works the best is when you're taking action in your daily life like this is going to happen because she has to change right she's gonna come back and she's gonna be like screw it I don't care I'm just going to like throw in and just, you know what, I'll, I'll make an excuse. So I'm not feeling well. I guarantee within the first 48 hours, you know what, maybe she'll, she'll call me out on that one. Maybe mm -hmm. 72 hours. Okay? okay. Maybe in 72 hours, she's going to be like, <laughs> I need some time off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's waiting for the wheelchair to kick in. Mm -hmm. And okay. we're all going to be aware of that. Yeah. So what I'm really interested in is seeing what kind of a response she's going to get before her February check. Because right. she, like, like I mentioned in our, in our chat earlier, she, you can guarantee that she hasn't been paid yet. Yeah. Who shares French fries in a bottle of Coke? I haven't been paid yet. And I think she usually gets paid after me. So there's, she hasn't been paid yet. There's no way. No. And yeah, because I guess YouTube goes after the the dates. So. Yeah, you don't you don't ever get paid on like weekends or holidays. I think right. it's them. Um, so yeah, so if I haven't got paid, she hasn't got paid. <laughs> exactly, and I don't think that she's got a lot with her. Yeah, I have a feeling that anti racist is going to be the one footing the bill for something. Oh, I I have a feeling too. Yeah. Um. Someone said that. Oh, yeah. Lynn said there will be a package on her steps before the plane lands. I bet you. And it's going to be Uber yeah. Eats three to four times a day. It's going to be yeah. wild. It's going to be really bad for her. And I hope you know. I know she watches my streams, and I know she hate watches, and she never takes anything that I say seriously. But like foodie, like if you hear this, you can't go back to using the way you were. No. That's how people don't wake up from. You know. That's you need to be careful. You can't go back. To, I don't believe you were just using wheelchairs, but if you are, whatever you're using, you cannot go back to doing it the same. Like if you never listen to anything, I say, please listen to this because even though you're super annoying, I don't want to see something happen to you. So like, no, no and I, I think that's the biggest thing is 
she's starting to realize, and I, I think that she's been seeing this for a while, mm -hmm. but she obviously isn't going to admit it um, openly, but after that whole thing where Koki was like showing the voice messages that she was leaving with him. Yeah. Her attitude mm -hmm. has switched again, if you've noticed. She's become incredibly aggressive. Yeah. And going on the offensive to attack you constantly. And FFG, like, Frenchie's used to it. I, and I'm not saying that you're not used to it, but she's, like, when she comes at you, it's usually, like, a little tiny dig and then she waits a couple of weeks and then yeah. little, like and recently it's been like every single day she is trying to like get a rise out of you yeah and she's she's realizing that she's trying to chase clout on her own self mm -hmm. she's like literally clout chasing the reaction channels for her paycheck yeah she is if that is not the most Chef's kiss perfection of drama karma. Uh -huh. I don't know what else is. Like I'm so, I'm, I don't know if you guys hear this loud breathing noise, but my dog is rolling all over the bed. I got worried for a second she was going to roll herself right off. Okay, sorry. I didn't know how loud that was. She's like as loud as a bear at the moment. Um, oh, oh Pix is talking, ASMR fan. Um, Kathy said, and Nader will text her. Yep. Yep. And, oh yeah. 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 I have a feeling that if her car starts within the first 72 hours, he's going to find something for her to put into her system. I'll put it. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Cause I don't want to get you demonetized. So I'm just going to be like, there Thank might you. be nasties. There might be smashies. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but something's going on there. But mm -hmm. yeah, like if her car starts. Montreal is definitely in, in order, and Lachine is going to be after that. Yep, I would bet on that. Yep. All right, let's watch some oh, more. Sorry, yes. I, no, so it's okay. I could talk all day, but I realize sometimes people want to watch it. Like, I'll, I'll just yap for hours. But... <laughs> so, yeah, it's normal to look at yourself when you're filming. Like, to make, like, sure, to make sure everything okay. is okay. Like, whatever. With his friends. They use this as an example of why he, he, he loves himself, not you. Not, you know... Not he looks so mad there. But this, this moment right here is very Sorry. I'm not the only one who's done that. And it's not even, I'm not speculating you're fake married. I'm not speculating you're fake married, okay. I'm not alleging you're fake married. I'm not alleging. You're not fucking legally married. You're not. So how do you know this? Do you, are you, like, how does this... How? Hi, Plus Chaos. How does so this person is definitively asserting that we're not married? Okay, when we are. So I need proof of this. I need proof. Like, like it's it's not. If you me, are, it just happened. Like, I don't believe you guys have been married this whole time. But you're definitively saying we're not married. So where's your proof? Where's your proof you're married? You haven't showed us any. Because like I'm on this earth, earth hate to hate, obsess, stalk other YouTubes. They should touch grass, get a like money. Yeah, Vida. Thank you, Vagar. And I heard this person say when I was like quickly reviewing the video earlier, um, that she's like, I have a job. This I can't talk, I can't do her voice without doing a bad accent. Sorry. I have a job. This is a, a this is a pastime. This is a hobby for me. So your how sad is your life if you don't even this is your hobby. They all say that. <clears throat> this is I your don't, hobby. Imagine. I don't hobby I like it, but I get paid for it too. <laughs> Apart from a video like married life, like it's just coming up with BS. But might I suggest you get a boyfriend and go on a diet or a girlfriend, whatever. I'm not, I'm not alleging that it's not slander. I'm you're not married, okay? We are married, and you know nothing. So, what now? Like, it's just basically it's stupid. Her word against mine, their word against mine. They don't have any proof. People just believe what they say for no reason, like just like uh, your mama or whoever. They're in on the drama together. You were up your mama's butt just three fact. days ago. Okay, Calm down. Still I'm also still waiting for Santa's Bar Lounge. Again, proof that I did anything. Like, where's, where's the proof here? None. Zero. You're all liars. <clears throat> all right. I hate when she clears her throat like that. Okay. I said this on Twitter. I don't know if I said it here. I can't remember now. 
it's interesting she brings up Sam's Bar Lounge because I got a privacy complaint. I just got the email today, said it was sent yesterday. Um, a privacy complaint on a five-month-old video, a Sam's Bar Lounge video. And um, it's really weird. The mark that it says the privacy complaint is for, like, I'm not understanding why. <laughs> but it's it's just she brought it up and I it dawned on me, like, it's just odd to me. Like if somebody was worried about a privacy complaint when it ha it have happened like five months ago when the video came out, like why five months later when her and Missy Manson are like attacking me left and right? You know what I mean? It's just odd. Oh no, Pix, it's okay. <laughs> I just, I feel bad because I, I don't get a lot of social interaction during the day. And I always realize that when I'm on stream with you, I'm like, this is why I don't stream. This is why I don't stream anymore. No, that's okay. I always say that during the late night streams. I'm like, during the day, I'm like in mom and auntie mode. So like, I'm like filtered breezy. Like, <laughs> watch what I say breezy. Like, don't have a whole lot of adult conversation during the day breezy. So at like night, when it's like midnight, or I guess it's morning technically, whatever. Um, It's like, I get to talk to everybody. Like, that's like my adult time where I get to have like adult conversations <laughs> Thank you, Erin. That's very sweet of you. I um, have my other phone in my hand, so I'm actually going to read the chat. Oh, okay. All right. Let me press play. Sorry. I know we both talk a lot. It's not just you. I talk a lot, too. I love your voice, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Number one, it is. Sala, can you explain? There are so many exceptions. So many exceptions. We initially thought, like, yeah, whatever you Google, obviously, it's, it says, like, you need a civil ID, basically. Those are the requirements, whatever. There's so many exceptions, so many. Well, not so many, but there's exceptions. There's ways that are called loophole. There's other legal avenues to do it. There's actually a lot of people who um, get lawyers for that reason. So to marry here, like if you're an expat or whatever. So you you don't know anything. Like why should anyone believe this person who has no proof? And like they, people just don't listen to our explanation whatsoever. Can I can you pause it for a second? Is it contradictory at first? Yeah. Because you know what? We have to be vague. Like we have we don't want to. Okay. Okay, so I have two things. Um thank uh -huh. you for everybody. That is very sweet. You guys are all being really, really lovely. Um and Brooklyn Wu, I am an extreme agoraphobe and COVID really messed with me. So I was just starting to get out into the town more and um uh, yeah. COVID hit and then I ended up with COVID. Somebody who doesn't leave their house more than once or twice a month at that point ended up with COVID and it's been really bad ever since. So if my words can help somebody, even if it's me cracking wise and not sounds like I'm wise, but yeah, like I'm very unwise, don't take my lessons unless you want to laugh at them kind of thing. But, you know, <laughs> I'm one of those, like, look at the, look at how this could have happened differently for you. Make the better choice, make the better decision. Um, but the, the thing that I wanted to say, um, as far as, as Chantel is right now, mm -hmm. the word proof is not the plot armor that you think it is. Right. Every time that she says the word prove it or proof, I just want to like snap back and say, why do we have to prove it? Right. We're challenging you. We're the ones that are saying, hey, we're reaction channels. We're looking at you as the entertainment. Mm -hmm. Not that you're entertaining. You are the entertainment. We make entertainment out of you. Mm -hmm. And I say we, but I'm actually mean you and the actual reaction channels. I just added myself into that as well like I bolstered myself for a second there that's woman um oh I guess I'm identifying as female today okay there we go there you uh, go, <laughs> there you go. It's, it's, it's all good it's all good um so yeah basically what it comes down to is she knows that she is being called out she knows that she has overstepped and the word loophole mm -hmm. oh she needs to like Chantel hear this. You are not in Canada. You are not in Canada. You cannot temper tantrum your way out of this. Nope. And I just wow. Yeah, she she really has zero clue of 
what laws she is trying to throw in the face of other like the idea that you can be in somebody else's country mm -hmm. and your visitor visa is about to expire yeah you're not going back like i will be absolutely freaking shocked if in three months or six months she's going to be allowed to actually get another visa oh yeah no i think so too um christy said loophole means illegal oh it does fully yep. that's exactly what yeah. I yeah and saying that in somebody else's country about laws that don't affect you because you're not part of the legal system there, Chantal. Right. You're classing yourself as a visitor. Hey, well, visitors have to work, according to her, in YouTube land. So she's yeah. allowed to do that. Like, she keeps trying to find these little, like, oh, I got away with this. And, oh, I got away with that. That's not how that works. Like, skirting the system, loopholes, trying to defraud countries. Mm-hmm is why I don't have a lot of connections to, well, I mean, I, I think I explained that one to you, like privately, Yeah, you know where I'm going with that. Like yeah. That, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing, just every level of note, stop, drop and roll, go tell someone I trust, like all of it. I right. mean, like, nothing like this is happening. Like the audacity that this person has, and I'm not gonna call her a lady and I'm not gonna call her a woman because she doesn't deserve that. Right. And it's not yeah. anything other than the fact that she's a child. Right. She is a child. She, she is. doesn't act like a woman. She doesn't act like a lady. She acts like a petulant little temper tantrum child. She does. So I think she throws more temper tantrums. I've seen her throw more temper tantrums than I've seen my own child and my nephews included. That's wild to me. I feel like... Even my five-year-old nephew has a maturity level that like Chantal just hasn't reached. It's wild. It's insane to me. Um, Rally, I want to say I saw your comment and I'm sending you so many hugs. Like I wish I could hug you through the screen. Um, Rally said, remember that Sala's sister lives in Canada. So if she can't support him coming, how will Chantal? Oh. Um, and Jamie asked, how many laws has she broke there for real? Um, well, calling out Allah um, and his wife uh, apparently her disrespecting Allah's wife yeah on like on an actual live stream and it was provable doesn't matter if it was deleted the URL still exists mm -hmm. and she could like I honestly think that if all of this happens and Chantel comes back to Canada and somehow Salad is like, no, I'm still like, quote unquote, Habibi love, um, which everybody just, oh my God, how many times did he say he loved her? Wait, once? Minus zero? What? Yeah, maybe once. <laughs> once. And it was like force. I just, I, I lived for that one. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fact that Ella has said that he doesn't want to get salad in trouble. Yeah. And I'm purposely saying salad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I love your shirt, by the way. Not that I'm making that a big thing. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm living for that moment so I know. much. I, I don't like, I don't care. I don't care how many people are getting angry. I just need to say it one more time the shirt. The shirt, the shirt. <laughs> um, okay, so Jamie said filming things she's not allowed, taking things yeah. she's not allowed. True. Yeah. She was filming in the mosque and courthouse, Avril said. Christy said living with a man, not her husband. Illegal. You said in the oil field. fields, Breezy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Like, well, oh, that's, my. That's true, Avril. In California, you can't film or take photos in the courthouse. That's very true. Illegal everywhere. It's illegal. Yeah. And Raleigh said, so her entire trip was pretty much illegal. Yep. <laughs> yep. Which is why she's now sitting in her little cell. Mm -hmm. uh, stuffed her face with chips and chips and chips and chocolate and cheese and as much sugar as she possibly can mm -hmm. I, I haven't done a Google search but maybe somebody could find the Google machine and ask it if Kuwait has Coke Zero oh. or Diet Coke or Diet Pop of any kind yeah 
I would love to know that information, but both of my phones are currently in, in use. Um, and the computer did... crashed about 20 minutes before this happened. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm not restarting that tonight, whatever. So. Um, Viv said, you guys think authorities are waiting for her to leave and just boot her out for good? Maybe. Yeah, it's a big, strong possibility. And mm -hmm. Good night, Lori. It is 11 p.m. our time. Yes. He said, I swear she's in a warehouse. It looks like it. Um, I don't understand the, the way that that room is. I don't get it either. Like, okay, the way that she's sitting, her left shoulder looks like it's closest to us. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So where is this other room? Because I thought that she said the TV was where the bed was. Or oh. am I like completely messing that up? I don't know. Um, Harry the hamster has <laughs> pinworms. She said he has worms. It's probably from that dirty sand she brought in. And the cat that she kept playing with. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This this hamster's not even gonna oh and she's probably not gonna treat it. You know she won't. Wow. She's amazing. Not in trouble, but like, but like expose, expose our lives to that degree. You know what I mean? Like to have it picked apart, you know. <clears throat> I'm not employed by anybody. No. Okay, okay. Allie said rules. she never um, washed her hands. Oh my gosh. It's, for marriage. it's a loophole to get your civil. It's not a loophole for civil ID. It's how people get civil ID. You get employment, you get a civil ID. So that's what it is. Jamie, you with I'm your logic. Um, that's what you get. So yeah. Like how dare so Jamie come with logic and reason? Yeah, you can get married that way. <laughs> it's easier that way. But actually not really. <laughs> baby i know yeah they really are actually monty was stream streaming yes. um i seen like one stream he did i don't know why i even look <laughs> and he was like playing background videos of like where like he where he thinks we live like in the area we think he thinks we live in like how is that not inappropriate like you're such a huge bug-eyed doxer you know like yeah i want to point out being in the veterinary field before, I haven't worked in the veterinary field for years, but I did for a very long time. Worms are contagious. Like, it's a big thing. That's why you want to get your pets treated, especially if you have kids and they're kissing the pets on the mouth. Like, they're contagious. <laughs> and she doesn't wash her hands. We've seen her kiss the hamster, everything else. Like, she doesn't she, kiss salad, so he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, no, he's great. Um, let's see. Let me read the chat. Oh, it's it, yeah. Everybody's exactly on the same page that I'm on. Yeah. That she's going home and this is going to be her. I sound horrible and I'm probably going to a very warm place when I'm deceased. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> but this is probably going to be her way of finding an excuse to put BBJ down. Oh, no. Oh, BBJ's got pinworms. Oh, no. How yeah. did I contract it oh my god i could have brought it over all the way from camel land like she's going to be that disgusting and yes i'm purposely saying camel because animals are the ones that would be giving it to her please don't read into that in any way i i realize that we have like an extended community of people who are always feeling affronted because of everything that Chantel says so i we like all I know what you meant. You're fine. Yeah. We all know what you I meant. Epilogue that instead of prefacing. I had to epilogue the thing. Yeah. So yeah, I just <sighs> Chantel is cooties run. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Aaron said, I guess Sala's in the old apartment and Chantel's in that small place. He'll come over once in a while, but they don't live together. I don't think they live together. I don't, I don't. Think either. That's why I think they actually live next door. Mm -hmm. I I honestly believe that. You cannot have that same furniture in two totally different places. Yeah. I oh. think that she's got the broken couch because we haven't seen him sit on that couch. We oh. only sit on the other couch with her. Uh-huh. Like, please tell me if I'm way off on this. Hi, Carrie. No, you're good. You're good, honey. You're good. Carrie, hi. And a ninja turtle. I don't think she sleeps in an actual bed either. I don't think she leaves said couch. Agreed, Hugh. Totally oh, yeah, agree. I think she sleeps on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
And the fact that she did not know that it was Raphael just bothers me so much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so, like, I was so offended that she didn't know what the, the coloration of their masks were. Like, how do you not know? Like, I, I don't really remember. Know. I think I remember Leonardo. Is there Leonardo? Was he yeah. a yellow mask? Uh, no, there's no yellow mask. There's an orange oh. mask. <laughs> Michelangelo. Raphael is the red one. Leonardo is the blue one. And Donatello is the purple. See, I didn't watch a lot of that cartoon. I think I was like in a Sheila phase. Phase. I feel like I watched a lot of Sheila. Um, but I just You're remember giant me. rats and pizzas. That's what I remember about Ninja yeah. Turtles. Totally bodacious, dude. <laughs> totally tubular. <sighs> okay, if you don't know either, yeah, I remember a Leonardo. And a, I think there's a Donatello, and there, yeah, obviously Donatello. there's a Raphael, but that's about all I remember. <laughs> Master Splinter. So bored. Hi, Aisha. Who is Aisha? Who is this person? What? Salah's other wife, I think, or somebody he knows in real life. That is my. That's what I'm convinced of. But like, this is the thing. This is why. I just never, ever, like, there's no point in explaining myself, because anything you produce, anything you say, it's fake. It's fake. It's made up. That was annoying. Actually, sorry, catch myself. They also went to the courthouse and said, oh, like, try that again. I'm not even going to end. went to the courthouse for no reason, right? Just to hang out and just to prove to you and your wig that we're married? Is that what you're saying? You and your wig? Come on, foodie. Yeah. And then Ugh. Present fake documents. Are you in a? a do you have a milk tea notoriety services or authentication service? You don't even live in the same country. <laughs> You've never been to Kuwait. You probably just recently Googled Kuwait since this all went down. But this only would have been today. And it since this happen. all went down, that's how I refer yeah. to coffee. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. I know. Oh my God, we're dating. It's so going down. Actually, that is. That is. That's the whole point. Sorry. 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 <laughs> because of weirdos like you being invasive. Being like, I'm going to text I'm that to my baby dad. We're <laughs> supposed to go out during the week sometime. I'm going to be like, so what day is it going down? <laughs> no, we'll take that the wrong way. Never mind. <laughs> He's gonna be like, um, we really need to sit well, down. Well, that's just a turn I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I am not texting that. Never mind putting myself back on mute and time out. I'm dying. <laughs> no, technically, you would have to. I, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna find the, what we did on Google just to show everyone. Thank you, Chandra, for looking it up. Still laughing to myself. Yeah, cool. Hi, Crispy. Thank. Oh, thank God I said that out loud before I sent that text. <laughs> no, it's because I. Okay, yeah, I did say I was on a tourist visa because I was. But how do you know things haven't changed since then? That's my point. Like, so perhaps something happened and I went through some kind of recourse and changed my status for all you know, right? Do you work for the government? No, you don't. So I mean, that's my point. You don't work for the government of Kuwait. You've never been to Kuwait. You don't know the laws. You don't know how things work. All you're doing is Googling things, right? So there. So you don't know my current status. You don't You don't know anything because you have no proof. You have no receipts. And she likes to talk about free screens. And this is easy. And like, they're immigration experts, girl said, yeah. I've explained it already, okay? I didn't want to say anything. They just Google anything, yeah. I, whenever I first, I did Google, like when we were first talking about getting married, and I was like, oh, I need a civil ID. I was panicking and blah, blah, blah. And then it took time. We worked around things legally. And um, that's what? why we're not like, going to come out and explain everything. Because like, <laughs> I don't know. 
we had to take, it took a while. It's like the process wasn't just cut and paste. It wasn't just. I, I walked away way before this. So this is all fresh for me. Oh. Okay. Um, someone said, can't change your status. Oh, wait, your yeah. comment went away. Do you see it? Because it went away on my end. Um, uh, can't change your visit, vis uh, your visa status. That was from Emerald Blue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your status uh, without leaving the country. We know your status. That was from Kiss Christy Claw. Chantel's current status is single. Chantel, do you really think that you're smarter than Google? A robot? Yes, yes, she she is. And not only that, she also is smarter than Diabetes Canada. She mm -hmm. is smarter than, um, I'm not even going to say it, but Didi's former employers. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Um, she's probably taken, I don't know, ownership of the Vatican as well. I, I'm not sure. Like, yeah. like, clearly she owns every single mosque that has ever existed. And, you know, she, she knows all religion because she's the theocratic brain right. that she is. I'm just going to say this one last time. She travels in large groups of one. <laughs> Stacey said smarter than a third grader. Maybe. I don't know. Third graders are pretty smart. I played that game before. Are you smarter than? Oh, that's a fifth grader. Never mind. Well, I'm not smarter than any of them. Like, <laughs> And better looking than 90% of YouTube. That is exactly <laughs> it. Kirsty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Erin, she is a god. She does <laughs> not. Like, remember, we need to remember that mm -hmm. this all started we need to act like i would love to do that as a retro react uh -huh. it's the last two episodes like episodes the last two live streams before she showed the first picture of of salad mm -hmm. she was coming back for actually no she was heading to sleeping with the um the man who was married that has kids and then she came back and the rest of that day, she was trying to back herself out of a corner because she was like, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't want her anymore. The loves die, blah, 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 blah. He's probably not going to see her for a couple decades or anything, all that stuff. And then switches into, well, he's got a nephew and his nephew lives in, you know, I don't know where, and she made up a name of it. And I can't remember what it was that she first said, but Salad's picture was there. Oh. And within three days, October 5th hit, and she had a hijab on. Huh. So her claiming that they've been in conversation together for months, she's trying to switch this narrative up at this point where. I'm sorry, not every single person that is in your world right now, Chantel, is brand new to you. Right. We've been here for a couple minutes before that. Mm -hmm. So sit down and you need to look at your own proof that you've been showing everybody. Exactly. So, like the idea that she came out, she was like, you know, where's your proof and blah, 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 and loophole and blah, blah, blah. Like this kind of stuff, we can track it. Even though you delete it from yours, does not mean that it goes away. Like, you are not the, like, the internet is not a black hole. Yeah. Like, sorry, Chantel, your soul is, but the rest <laughs> Definitely. of Definitely. Just, Definitely. yeah, sorry. And I'm talking <laughs> over everybody. Thanks. <laughs> like, 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 it was, um, process, and that's what it was. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Sala. Like, I don't know what, Sala, can you explain, like, how we, like, initiated that, like contract between us and then we have like you need two witnesses you have to like um you can like is it like a lawsuit against the court i don't know i know you explained it to me i don't really even fully understand the process all i know is that sala was working out working it out with whoever was involved in it um according to the internet i'm a lawyer immigration professional romance expert chef doctor and law official exactly exactly K1 visa, I don't really do, but K1 visa is not even for Canada, buddy. All right. So you can get married on a tourist visa. It's just, it takes a bit of work around. That's all. You have to appeal to the court. 
Um, the Port Grant. Yeah, and the marriage certificate. Um, it takes oh. time to go pick it up. So, you know, we will even have to go back mm -hmm. and um, deal with more things, that's it, you know. Deal with more things, huh? Yeah, why does even anyone really care about anything? Uh, the reason she was discussing that is because something that's come up a few times. Okay, but what is it? So we're not married, but then they accuse, so on one hand, they accuse us of not being married, but then on the other, they say that he's using me for marriage so he can get to Canada. So which one is it? We're fake marriage for what reason? <laughs> you can't even, you say I'm inconsistent, but you're inconsistent with your BS and your reaching. You know, like, which one is it? You can't sponsor him yet, moron, because you've got a second bankruptcy. Yeah, I know, right? If we had K-1, it would be so cool. Yeah, I know, right? If we which it definitely shouldn't be, but the YouTube accounts work in Kuwait, and it doesn't. So I just want to clear that up. Okay, there you go. Because you can YouTube from anywhere. You can YouTube. Unless you're being hired commercially to do something, but we all YouTube. Christy, yep. So you weren't married for two months, but living together. Well, just without any, with the drop of a needle, or the drop of a hat, whatever. I am looking at a needle here. Just disbelieve anything I say, but will believe these knobheads who have no proof of anything either. Yeah, not me. I know. No one should be so obsessed. Why does it matter? Why does everyone care? They love each other. I know. That's what I'm saying. They're so petty. Like money comes. The they're basically saying like, okay, they're basically telling us how we feel. He doesn't love her. You don't love. Him. You don't love him. Blah blah blah. Like it's so weird. Well, um, Kuwait. Um, so when she actually says, "Look, I'm self-employed," it's actually kind of true. And it really isn't the it's very true. own that people think it is. It really isn't the right job. Like she can really yeah. do this fine. But in an attempt to defend herself on one What does this person do? Are they literally an immigration expert or what? She's completely contradicting lies she's told before. And this is really lies I've told. Really what lies? Too much. So instead of just telling one lie that's as close to the truth as she can get it and just sticking with it, she forgets the other lies she's told. So I'm on a first okay, like but no, we have some loopholes through yeah. Murad's work. Those no, 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 no. We had some loopholes through Murad's work. Did you hear that, baby? Okay. Did you hear that, baby? And look through the screen. It takes time around a month. Of weeks to I know. Did she only talk to him in the chat? Like, like not in real life? Yeah. Through Murad's work. <laughs> Number one. Good they're night, both Sarah. Oh, my God. They're both Thank business you. owners. So you're just being an ignorant. Hold on. Let me pause you it. Know what? Go ahead. I was just saying sweet dreams to Sarah. Sorry. Oh, sweet dreams. <laughs> um, the backroom said the rules to sponsor are explicit when it comes to finances. She isn't financially stable and hasn't been. That alone disqualifies her. Interesting. Emerald Blue said, in Canada, bankruptcies disappear after 18 months. Hers didn't, so someone is disputing it. That someone is probably the Canadian version of the IRS. She's in a world of her. Oh, dang. I wouldn't want to be foodie. The Canada oh. Revenue Agency. She owes uh -huh. a lot. And oh, wow. I, speaking from my, <clears throat> somebody that I, I know this a little bit too well. Um, somebody can't ever come back to Canada because he owes well over $320,000 in back taxes. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to play this game, then Chantal's going to find out very quickly that the Canadian Revenue Agency really, really doesn't think that they need to put up with her BS and they will slam criminal charges on her. Oh, Brooklyn asked, do you think she's going to Kuwait to run from her debts? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I fully believe that. Yeah. Yeah, geographically curing, trying to get over. She's not going to be allowed back out of Canada. Like, mm -hmm. she's going to have to file her taxes before she, like, the way that she's tried to line this up and that she said that she was only going to be gone, like, she's back here for, like, six weeks or something. She's purposely going to try to come back, deal with the bankruptcy that she's supposed to be seeing everybody on the 30th for Oh, because she, she said the 29th. Uh, she has a hearing on the 29th or the 30th. I can't remember if she was supposed to be coming back on the 20th and, or the 29th and then in okay. on the 30th. Like, uh -huh. I, I know that it's in the same area and I'm not. Okay. Like, I, yeah. We it's around then. Yeah. We don't care what flight you're on, Chantel. Yeah. We're not that into you. No. So the idea that she thinks that she's going to like very easily just like slide back in. Mm hmm as somebody who knows what it's like to live in different countries, to get away from them an abuser and finally get back to Canada, there are things that are on my passport 
that will remain with my passport for the rest of my life. Oh, because wow. when I left Canada, mm -hmm. I was homeless. I didn't have a job. I was homeless. I didn't have a home. I My car had been repoed. There was a whole bunch of stuff that was going on. It yeah. was like a really, really bad mental breakdown. Like very right. bad. Um, I was bullied out of my job to the point that I was physically threatened. So I kind of just shut down and then a bunch of other stuff happened. Different yeah. times. I'm sorry. So, no, no, it, where I'm going with that is the fact that okay. she doesn't have a home. Yeah, her car is probably completely dead now. Living for that, mm -hmm. her job does not keep her in a fixed location in Canada. She doesn't have any way to prove that she's got a desire to come back to Canada. Right? They could actually flat out deny her and put a black like I'm able to come and go. Like I obviously I was down in Memphis and did that whole thing. Um, yeah. So, like, since then, like, I'm fine, but it it will always have that, like, back in 2014, blah, 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 kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, next year's a really big year for that as well. So, I'm like, yes! I bet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we've got so many things to celebrate, woman. I'm not even... I know. <laughs> I know. So, you just had your five years recently, and I'm so proud of you, by the way. Thank you. Um, she doesn't even own the car, Christy said. Yeah, she's still paying that off, right? The Kia, yeah. the Kia, the Kia, whatever it's called. Yeah, like she's she's just, uh. Hello, Kat. Who is this gorgeous creature that, Aaron, you need to tell us everything about your cat. Let's see. Oh, wait, Hugh said, did you go from Canada to the USA? If so, what's their repo like compared to ours? Um, actually, I was in Manitoba, and then I went to Halifax, mm -hmm. um, and I had tried to, to leave Canada um, before I left Winnipeg and went to Halifax, and I ended up going, it, I got my vehicle, re well, it, I didn't choose it, obviously, it got yeah. me without my acceptance, but um, I didn't have... Um, I had to get married in order to come back, like, to go into the U.S. So I came in on a spousal sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And then there was another jump and then another jump. And then I finally was able to go to two other countries and finally get away from him and then make it back to Canada with $75 to my name. So, like, oh, wow. there and then, uh, like, yeah. And what I'm celebrating on the 31st is five years of safe and safe and safe and secure and stability here in this tiny little apartment that I absolutely freaking love because I've got the mm -hmm. queen Ontario here. So it's not all about me. I'm just saying Chantel has no idea how screwed she is making herself. She yeah. really needs to come back and grow up, immediately grow up. Mm -hmm. Or she could possibly spend some time in jail and i'm not lying that's not a threat it is an absolute possibility wow like she could be detained at the airport mm -hmm. and she doesn't the... think about this stuff at all no 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 she thinks that she can temper tantrum her way out of everything. yeah yeah like <laughs> there's a lot of shit that oh sorry there's a lot of stuff that she... <laughs> i try so hard not to swear <laughs> it's so... okay I sat in the truck for three years. I know swears. <laughs> it's okay. It's late night on our channel or late night, early morning. We're, we're more. It's okay. You could cuss. It's fine. <laughs> Yay. <Poop. laughs> All right. Let's watch a bit more of this. Sorry. <laughs> we might, I might about? have to do a part two in a little bit and come back at midnight. Um, But I can at least probably watch like 20 more minutes, I would say, right now. So we'll try and get through as much as we can. And then if you guys are free in a few hours, um, I might do part two. Does that, is that work for you guys? I will be in bed for that, but I'm going to take my night meds now. So you guys will actually hear me wind down. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's I take good. my night meds. I take, <laughs> I take a night medicine to make me go to sleep because I have horrible insomnia. Like I'm one of those people who just can't fall asleep. I can't, um, I can't lay there and just, my once my head hits the pillows, just drift off. It just doesn't work that way for me. 
And I've been on the same medication pretty much my whole life for that. But all it does for me, really, eventually it puts me to sleep, but it makes me so hungry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, um, I, I have, let's see, just counting the colors. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different meds at night. Oh, my gosh. When I say that, yeah, when I say that Chantel needs to listen, I have over 25 meds that I have to take every single day mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. And she really has no clue what, like, and this was me taking care of my body yeah. as well as I could. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, I, I'm not going to go through the list because obviously that, that totally TOS issue, but um, suffice to say that when I'm speaking about something medical and her, like I'm five foot one. I know what it's like to be heavier than what she's showing in, in this video. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be over 150 pounds heavier than I am. Like I had to make that change for myself. So am I anywhere close to my goal? No, but I didn't get it all on in one day and I'm not going to like, it is a life change. It's not mm -hmm. like everybody who has had anything that they've had to like, physically change about themselves habit wise or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I've never had one of the, the, in, um, a food disorder. Um, yeah. mine was otherwise based. So, um, anyways, the, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm rambling. And, it's okay. <laughs> sorry. I'm just, it's I'm okay. Talking, no, I'm talking about with the medical stuff. Oh, Raleigh, you're an insomnia queen too. Yeah. Like I've tried the whole, you know, well, let's try and fall asleep without the medicine and I won't sleep for like a few days if I do that. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I can't sleep. I've had that issue my whole life <laughs> and I've been on like different medications for it, but the one that works is the one that makes me the hungriest. So it's crazy. So I wish I could throw it out, but then if I didn't, I would literally wouldn't sleep. It's just weird. I, I can give you one really, really quick tip. Uh -huh. Before you're falling asleep, in your mind, play through something that you would like to do, like an interaction with like your mom and you're going for like froyo or something. Like oh. play that out in your mind and your brain will start to like shut all the other doors in your brain. Uh -huh. That's how I end up having to do it every night because like way too many mental issues. But um, I have it. to slow my brain down and mm -hmm. that's the only way to do it is to like play out a scenario. And there are certain scenarios that I can play every single night. And mm -hmm. one of them has been like, hey, you and I and Aaron, we go for bubble tea. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if that's ever going to possibly, like, <laughs> the chances of that happening, I don't even know. But, like, that's something in my mind. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted, so in my mind, I play through that scenario, like, hey, you know, what city are we doing it in? And mm -hmm. what are we doing? And where are we going? And what kind of boba? And then my brain just goes, okay, good night. And it just All right. Well, then every night I'm going to be imagining myself having an acai bowl because I love those. Those are so pretty. Oh, no, my they're God. so good. Oh, my gosh. I have a slight addiction to those. They are so good. I love Erin. I love Erin. She's the best. I just want to say she's awesome. There we go. I'm done. Uh, like, how do, how do you know it's just Morad's business? Like, what are you even talking about Morad's work? Number one, it says they own the business together. It's not just work. And... I never said that we were married through Morad's work, ever. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I said that's a possible possible way to do it, to get a civil ID. Do you see how they twist my words and then now I'm a lawyer? Do you see how this works? It's ridiculous. Not be true at the same time. And you cannot get any other kind of visa. You have to go out. I didn't say it could be true at the same time. I said I'm on a tourist visa. If I wanted to get a civil, I said there's different ways to get married. One, if you need to have a civil ID, yes. If you Google that, yes, you need to get a civil ID, you need to be employed. I said, if I really want to, Salah could put me on his business, which he owns with Murad. Do you see how she misses out a lot of context and a lot of points? Yeah, people are just like with no brain, I guess, watch this. And there's no way he's getting permission to sponsor her. And by the end, there's no way he's getting permission to sponsor me. How do you know? How do you know what he would get permission to and not do? This is what drives me nuts. These people have these people make definitive assertions about details of our lives. They have no proof and nothing. 
me and my router business owner, it's a fact, exactly. And it doesn't matter if you don't think it's cool to own a perfume, a fragrance business, which it's really big here in Kuwait. Fragrances, perfumes, um, Arabic perfumes. At least he has his own business, so quit crapping on it. It's an MLM, and we don't want to buy the We're not asking people to buy anything. So no, wait, it's an MLM? I, I have a feeling it is. Okay, and if they if it's not and they actually came up with that packaging, it's horrible. It looks like cleaning bottles. Yeah, which is why <laughs> it makes me feel like it's MLM. Yeah, she goes, oh, but it's huge there. But like, I forgot who it was on Twitter. I, if it was Barbecue Chicken or Mo Translate was showing how like normal bottles look over there, and like their Salah and Chantel's look like cleaning supplies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um. He said, love that for her if it's an MLM saying, oh my gosh, she's going to start trying to sell us bottles of it, watch. Um, this is this your debunking? Wow. But the fact is, it's not true. None of it's true. That's it is true. I've just explained it. Is there any other questions regarding that or how can they make it crystal clear? She did get this away from Wish, just like her personality. Well, she's so Shut up. Personality story. Sorry. I don't know her, but she got her weight on Wish. She got her, um, no, it's okay. Stop, Chantal. Oh. On Wish. We saw your wigs before. Hers look much better than yours. And missing a lot of context and twisting my words. I have that right. It doesn't make me a liar. <laughs> you have maggots in one of your wigs. You shook it out and put it on your head. Barf. <laughs> and you have the absolute audacity to do that. I know. Yes. And you don't know the documents needed. You don't know the loopholes. Are you our lawyer? Do you like? Did you talk to our lawyer? No. You don't. You don't know the loopholes. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm letting her talk because I really want you to hear what she's saying because later when she has to double back to Can we about shake shot? Things, I want you to know that there was no doubt in what she was implying which was that they went to the courthouse once they found stuff they later they got married which is the story she tried to tell I appreciate our arms for being respected I hate both stairs and elevators. People just feel entitled to certain information. And it's just yeah, like you, entitled to certain information, or else you're going to make it up, right? No, we, we have a right to privacy. You do, but then, you know, keep what? it offline. Keep it offline. Keep it offline, what? Saying we're married. We did keep it offline. We kept it offline. We kept our marriage contract offline. And this is what happens. You come online with your crappy wig, and you make up lies. Yeah, you're going to make a vlog telling us about your courthouse marriage. Don't be shocked when people are talking about your marriage. If you're going to make a vlog about you going to Kuwait, to marry the love of your life and then tell us a pack of lies about your status, don't be surprised. No, because people are not normally single white female like you are. Normal people just kind of go in and go about their day and watch if they want to watch. They don't sit there and like pick apart like possibilities and make assertions and oh, uh, anyways. Are people normally this weird and creepy? No. It's a conversation. So also, um, but there are some things I want to share with you guys. So also we went to the court so I literally just said, we don't want to tell everything for privacy reasons, but there are some things I don't mind sharing with you. This is why you have this courthouse video, okay? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I was speculating that Sal is on the spectrum, calling him delayed and renaming him Stuart from my TV. Okay, that needs to stop right She's now. Not, not you. I no, I, okay, hold on. Let me pause it. I know. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so... I'm not going to list all my medical stuff. I'm not going to list all my mental stuff. Mm -hmm. I am going to say that if she makes fun of somebody else on the friggin' spectrum one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. No, it needs it's, to stop. It's rude. She has zero idea who she's affecting when she says that kind of thing, including her quote unquote best friend who like, I, I don't like Pete's, but I will always defend them. Because mm -hmm. they're not the only ones on the spectrum. And throwing that around is her way of trying to throw the R word into the conversation without getting yelled at because of it. Right. And that pisses me off that she's now probably taking 
one person's comment that she saw somewhere and is now trying to run with the idea that, well, if I can say that my husband isn't on the spectrum or he is on the spectrum, then it's okay for me to use the R word because this, that, and the other. Right. And that is not how you do Chantal. This is why I don't do reactions. No, you're doing good. I like listening to you. <laughs> Researcher, how are you? Um, yeah, she is gross. I agree. I agree, Brooklyn. Okay, you guys, we have like a, probably about five more minutes and then um, we'll do part two in a few hours at midnight. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you hang out for a few more minutes, Pix? Oh, you betcha, babe. Okay. Rally said you're doing fine. Oh, thank you. Everybody. If she's going to make fun of my husband, please. Uh, I'm pretty sure your wife has brain damage from all the drugs she's done. So please keep my Whoa. husband out of your mouth. Thank you. She would say that. She's trash. She's uneducated trash. And Where's your proof? Asked me, um, they want to make sure Selective outrage, yeah. I thought to get my bachelor's and master's degree, it would probably take like, And that, if you do you know about that expert? Uh, she's going to be a Muslim ex manager expert now. Now, she specifies here we also have two witnesses that. She says he's delayed. How does she know anything about him? She's, she's delayed. Her whole audience is delayed. And anyway, why are you making fun of people who are delayed anyway? Like, oh my God. His language is not his first language, so whenever he talks, it's calculated. Hello, when close part. Relevant to me, because I think that's just keep it in mind. The fact that she's being very detailed in how this happened, especially like the story about Salah having to explain about her lack of male relatives, I wonder what actually what the procedure for that is, because there must be women. So you didn't look it up online? You all of a sudden know all the details about how to get married in Kuwait, but you don't know about meeting the male representatives? Mm. Have male relatives here. Yeah. Because you, you, write you just contradicted you yourself, liar. Or and um, so I wonder how we, we don't do that. You know, I mean, we explained it. Explained it jokes, so we, don't. we explained it. We explained it. If, so you do not, not, if your, your father's, father's deceased, deceased, then you need either your son or your brother. I think an uncle too, I babysit. That would be easy to look up. Rio, welcome to Grand Prix Visa Recipes. If you don't have a bigger than life online personality on the spectrum, why do people make fun of people like with autism anyways? Like that's horrible. Because right now it's directed at her husband. That's why. Yeah. And when children marriage is lost, can we just be used? Can we just be? Where's her receipt? I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for people the People rushing to my comments. Actually, go watch Milk Tea. Go watch Milk Tea. She really gives it to you. Yeah. Gives yeah, me a headache. So, they asked me where my father was, which really was an odd question to me because it just really, but it, you know, it made me realize how important father figures are in the lives of women here. Um, so, as parental figures, family, family structure is very, very sacred here. So, um, we don't have many single parents. If, I don't know if any of us. If any of a bit of a push, and it certainly is rarer, um, particularly like women who get divorced only really been in the last five years that they would like it's sensitive still in the last five years that they would kind of admit to it, you know, you know, even if women are widowed or whatever. What? I don't even understand what she said. And vice versa. So, um, then go back and listen to it. And don't be self conscious, baby, about your English because compared to someone, um, baby, or whatever who's been here for 12 years, your English is. Yeah, I'm sorry. But no, seriously, like, I, I need that. Like, you're fine, you're fine. Why do you have to talk to him through your chat? Can uh, Cabbage Patch doll speak Arabic? Any Arabic? Oh. So is she delayed then because she can't speak fluent Arabic? Stop it. Uh, so yeah. How are you adults making fun of somebody? Come on, let me pause it. In, in general, like, making those Oh comments. my gosh, go ahead. I, I was just saying, like, she's literally just trying to, like, don't say it about him, but now I can make fun of you. Yeah. And that's the part that pisses me off when she gets to that level of <clears throat> arrogant arrogance. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm going to reach, I'm going to say arrogant ignorance because she's willingly ignoring the fact that she does not have the emotional or educational background to speak for what she does. And right. the fact that she keeps saying, prove it, prove it, prove it, but then tells somebody who 
is on the other side of the screen that they are obviously quote unquote uneducated. Prove it, Chantel. Prove to us how uneducated all of us are. Right. When you prove that you've got a liar, or sorry, a liar. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, what a what a kind of Freudian slip that was. Um <laughs> I can't even remember where I was going with that. Oh, if you've got a higher degree of uh, education than any of us, mm -hmm. okay, then you've got you've got something. But you need to prove. Oh, that's right. You only did it for like three months before you realize that your English major sucks and you yeah. dropped out. So you did. True. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Like it's so disgusting. Talk to my father, and then he comes with every time. So, um, so I just said, like, he's so supportive of the way. Hi, babe. You're hot, babe. And yeah, so I. Oh, I don't care if I look like a What? What? Aaron, thank you. What happened? <laughs> oh, she, she took care of somebody, all right. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, no, no, you don't no. know, right? So, wow. Aaron, you are. Hold on. I really didn't Sorry. I, like, what happened? You should be able to scroll up and see very easily. Okay, hold on. And I'm not reading the name out. That's the whole thing that I'm talking about. Is okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm because I'm on StreamYards on my computer, so I have to go back into. I'm you going to my. In the chat. You should be able to put the chat. Hold on. on. Okay, I'm not very tech savvy. I'm I just barely know how to get by on this thing. All right, let's see. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You're gonna see it. Keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, It'll be too far. I'm at you're doing fine by rally, so I don't see it for some reason. Um, well, I will just say, um, Aaron's amazing. Thank you, Erin. Yeah, yeah, tons of love for her. Yeah, for some reason Sorry. it's not showing up on my end. I'm gonna look on my phone right now. Um, oh, I, I, don't like, yeah. I see who the account was. That's either that's, um, huh? that's the, what I was talking about was the name of it. Yeah, I don't yeah. see the message, but the um, yeah, no, that's whatever. The only people who refer to me is by by that. Is Manson, Missy Manson, Foodie, and then Shani came in the chat. I think it was yesterday, last night, saying stuff like that. So, um, hi, Kamu. This is Pix on panel with me. Um, thank you, Aaron, for taking care of that. Wow. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, I know people think they can hurt me with that, but, like, I have over five years sober. Like, whatever I've done in my past is actually in my past, you know? So that's that. All right, you guys, let's do. Yeah, I'm not going to look for the message. I just, I saw the name and that was enough for me. I already know it's Missy Manson or a foodie. Yeah, that's, and I didn't go looking for the comment. It was just the name that I was like, Erin needs to get her back, like, tapped because she's that amazing. Like, she saw it and it was done. Like, it was just. Thank you, Erin. Yes. Super, super, super fast. I love you. I appreciate you. All right, you guys, let's come back at uh, midnight my time. So that's like three hours from now. Yeah, and I'll be in bed by then. So. Okay, but do you want to come on again? Um, I'm going to probably, uh, I want to do a live during the day and a live at midnight. So that way people, like everybody gets a chance to, you know, because not everybody's up at the same time. Um, so yeah. in the next few days, if you would like to come on, I would love that. That would be fun. I would really like that. I, if I didn't drive everybody crazy, I will definitely come on and. You don't uh, drive anyone crazy. Like I'm already crazy as it is. Apparently, that's what they say anyway. So, okay. <laughs> and I like hearing you talk. But um, all right, you guys. I will see you in three hours. Bring snacks. Come in pajamas because that's gonna be me. And um, have a wonderful night to everybody. And I will catch you guys on the flippity flop of somewhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Good night. See you in three hours. Bye. Bye, Annie. Thank you. Bye, Pig. I'll see you in, in the chat. All right, bye. Yep, bye. <laughs>